Sayyiduna Abdullah ibn Mubarak rahimullah ta'ala, one of the great eminent student of Imam Abu Hanifa rahimullah ta'ala, he says that once when I was coming back from Hajj, on the way I met this woman and I saw her sitting isolated and I knew that she was lost. So I approached her. And the reason I'm going to mention this incident is to explain to you how much these people had connection with the Holy Quran. That Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak Rahimullah Ta'ala says that I asked this woman, I said salam to her and then I asked her few questions. And every answer that she gave was from the Holy Quran. So Abdullah Mubarak Rahimullah Ta'ala says, Assalamu Alaikum. The woman replies, Salamun Qawlam Min Rabbi Rahim. A verse of Surah Yasin. The Salam, word of peace from the Lord who is the most merciful. Then Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak Rahimullah Ta'ala says, What's happened? Why are you here for? The woman replies, May you delilahu fala hadiala. That whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala misguides, there is no one to guide. So she was referring that I am lost here. So Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mubarak rahimullah ta'ala says, Where are you going at this moment of time? So she reads this verse, Subhanalladhi asra bi abdihi laylam min al masjid al haram ila al masjid al aqsa. That she was just she had just finished a hajj and she is now visiting Baytul Maqdis. So she reads this verse which means glory to be that being who takes, who has taken his servant in the night journey from Masjid al-Haram to Masjid al-Aqsa. Then Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak Rahimullah Ta'ala says that where, how long have you been in this place? So she replies, Thalatha layalin sawiyya. That I've been here for three complete night. So what about your food? So she replies, Huwa yut'imuni wa yasqeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that being who gives me food and he gives me drink. So he asks that, how have you been doing your ablution, your wudu, for praying your namaz? So she goes, falam tajidu ma an fatayammamu su'idan tayyiba. That if you don't find water, then do tayammu with clean earth. So after that, Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak rahimullah ta'ala says that I got some food with me, so do you want some food? So she replies, Thumma atimmu suyama ila layl. That complete your fast till the night time. In other words, she was saying that I am fasting. So Abdullah ibn Mubarak rahimullah ta'ala astonished that you're fasting, you're traveling as well. It's not the month of Ramadan, so why are you fasting for? So she says, وَمَنْ تَتَوَّى خَيْرًا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ شَاكِرٌ عَلِيمٌ The person who does optional thing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appreciates that and he knows that. Then she goes that, Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak rahimullah ta'ala asks that you are traveling so there's no need for you to fast, even optional. Fast, there's no need for it. So she reads, وَأَن تَسُومُوا خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ That if you know about fasting, that is better for you, then you would surely fast. Afterwards, Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak Rahmatullah says that will you, you are lost here, so I will try to find your belongings, I will try to find the people, so will you come with me? So she says, That whatever good you do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows about it. In other words, I am happy for that. So he puts the camel forward and tells her to mount on the camel. So at that moment, the woman says, That say to the believing men to lower the gaze. So Sayyidina Abdullah, he lowers his gaze. The woman just about to go on the camel, to mount on the camel, then a part of the cloth got stuck. So she says, Ma asabakum min musibatin fabima kasabat aydikum. Whatever Musiba, whatever hardship comes, it, it is because of our own deeds. Then 
Sayyiduna Abdullah Mubarak Rahmatullah Ta'ala, he ties the camel properly and she gets onto the camel. When she mounts onto the camel, she says, Subhanallah, Sakhara Lana Hada wa Makunna Lahu Mukrinin, wa inna ila Rabbina la Munkalibun. She reads the dua which we read when we actually sit in the vehicle or transport. So she reads that and she gets onto the camel and Sayyiduna Abdullah Mubarak Rahmatullah Ta'ala, he actually takes the reins and he's taking her forward towards the caravan which she has been severed from or she got lost so the keep on going at that moment of time Sayyiduna Abdullah Muhammad is inquisitive is he asks that and you which tribe are you from which clan are you from which part of the country are you from so she says Wala ma laysa laka bihi ilm. that do not go behind those things that you have no knowledge regarding so Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak Rahmatullah keeps quiet and at that moment of time he thought to himself that I will read some po poetry so he's reading some poetry at that time Sayyidina the woman says that read something from the Holy Quran so she starts to read something from the Holy Quran and the woman says that mashallah you've understood what I am trying to say and only those people who are intelligent they actually get admonition from this because the camel was going fast and he was reading loudly so the woman said that be moderate in your pace and lower your voice so Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak Rahmatullahi Alayhi takes her forward and at that time they are just about to reach and the place Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak Rahmatullahi Alayhi asks that are you and are you married? Have you got a husband? So at that moment she says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu la tas'alu an ashiyaa in tubdalakum tasu'ukum That all you who believe do not ask regarding those things. If that becomes apparent to you, you will dislike it. So at that moment, Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak Rahmatullah asks forgiveness. The woman says, La tathriba alaykum liyawm There is no blame for you today. Ya ghfirullahu lakum, Allah will forgive you. So they reach the, reach a caravan at that moment, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mubarak Rahmatullah asks the woman, Have you got any people that you know here? So she replies, Al malu wal banuna zinatul hayat al dunya. That I have my wealthy and I have my children here. So she has, Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak Rahmatullah asks that, What is the duty of your children here? So she says, Wa ala mat wa bin najmihum yahtadun. That the signs and with the star they be guided. In other words, they are the guide of this caravan. So at that moment, when the woman and Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak Rahmatullah get close to the caravan, the woman, she calls the children that وَاتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ إِبْرَاهِيمَ خَلِيلًا وَكَلَّمَ اللَّهُ مُوسَى تَكْلِيمًا يَا يَحْيَا قُذِ الْكِتَابَ بِقُوَّةً In other words, she got three sons there. One Musa, the second Ibrahim and the third Yahya. So three children, they come running out and when they see the mother, they get very happy. At that moment of time, the mother says, that send one of you and take this money and get some food get some halal sustenance because this person has done a favor for us so when the food comes she says subhanallah eat and drink because of what the goodness that you've done in the past and then she reads Hal jazaul ihsani illa al ihsan For the goodness is only goodness Sayyidina Abdullah Mubarak Rahmatullah is amazed and shocked at the words and the verses that she has recited that every single answer she gave was from the Holy Quran she say, He says to the children This food is haram for me until you don't tell me who this woman is So the children say this is our mother and for 40 years she has not spoken but the Holy Quran